Welcome to our quick tutorial on how to set up a certain area of your file for spot coloring printing. Now we're going to begin by opening the AI file for this poster in Adobe Illustrator CS4 which is what we recommend. If you're not working in Illustrator you can always contact us for some guidance on how to correctly handle your files and also so that you can get your desired print or ink configuration across to us. Now once we've got the poster open and it's ready to work we're going to begin by selecting only the areas that we'd like to convert to the designated spot color. In this case, that's the GoMedia logo, name, and their slogan. Once we've selected the entire area that we'd like to convert, we're going to take a look at the current color swatch, which in this case is a CMYK color build, and we're going to convert it by opening the swatch library. We'll select Open Swatch Library, and then Color Books, and in this case, we're going to be looking for Pantone Solid Coated. The desired ink we're looking for is 805C. Now remember that the C actually stands for coated. If you're running on an uncoated stock and specking a coated ink, there's going to be differences between what's in your Pantone book and what comes off the delivery of our presses. Now we'll scroll to the bottom and we'll locate the ink color we're looking for. As soon as we select it, it's going to handle the conversion. Now of course we're going to want to verify that this happened properly. So after we back out of this, we can go up to the color swatch. See it says 805C. And the swatch option palette will show it it's a book color, and then it actually recognizes it as a spot color and the correct spot color, of course. It's pretty effortless once you know how to set it up correctly. So now we're ready to hit the document setup and ensure our bleeds are properly set and that the file is actually at the proper size before we start saving it out. So we add our eighth inch bleeds, take a look at the palette now we're ready to save out a PDF Now, as I click through here pay attention to the save as dialogues and the PDF settings which are the recommended settings for sending us your file Now it's always a good idea after you save out a PDF to open it back up in Acrobat and ensure that everything looks the way it's supposed to. Once you back out and verify that it looks proper, you can close it out and you're ready to send us your artwork.